solve for non-negative integers x, y, z, satisfying x squared, minus y squared, equals 2 to the power of z, plus 2022. The left-hand side of the equation, is the difference of two squares, x squared minus y squared, which can be written as, a product of two algebraic expressions, x minus y, times x plus y. The right-hand side of the equation, is 2 to the power of z, plus 2022, which is a number for a given value of z. So x minus y, and x plus y, must be the factors of the number. Now we divide the problem into cases, based on the values of z. Case 1, if z is greater than or equal to 2. We know that, 2 to the power of z, is congruent to 0 modulo 4. And 2022, is congruent to 2 modulo 4. So 2 to the power of z, plus 2022, is congruent to 0 plus 2 modulo 4. Which is congruent to 2 modulo 4. We know that, x squared, is congruent to, 0 or 1 modulo 4. And y squared, is congruent to, 0 or 1 modulo 4. So x squared minus y squared, is congruent to, 0 or 1 or negative 1 modulo 4. Which is not congruent to 2 modulo 4. Therefore, the equation has no solutions, when z is greater than or equal to 2. As z is a non-negative integer, so z must be equal to 1 or 0. Case 2, z is equal to 1. Then the equation becomes, x squared minus y squared, equals 2 plus 2022, which is 2024. x squared minus y squared, is equal to, x minus y, times x plus y. 2024 can be written as, 2 cubed, times 11, times 23 x minus y, and x plus y, must be the factors of 2024. We assume that, x minus y, times x plus y, equals m times n. And we assume that, m is greater than or equal to n. Then x minus y, equals n, x plus y, equals m, as x plus y, is greater than or equal to, x minus y. Then x equals, m plus n over 2 and y equals, m minus n over 2, as x and y are non-negative integers. So m and n, must have the same parity. For case 1, m and n, must both be even, as 2024 is even. So there are four possibilities. Either x minus y, equals 2, and x plus y, equals 1012. Or x minus y, equals 4, and x plus y, equals 506. Or x minus y, equals 2 times 11, and x plus y, equals 4 times 23. Or x minus y, equals 4 times 11, and x plus y, equals 2 times 23. For x minus y, equals 2, and x plus y, equals 1012. Add the two equations, we have, 2x equals, 1014. Subtract the first equation from the second equation, we have, 2y equals, 1010. So x equals, 507. y equals, 505. For x minus y, equals 4, and x plus y, equals 506. Add the two equations, we have, 2x equals, 510. Subtract the first equation from the second equation, we have, 2y equals, 502. So x equals, 255. y equals, 251. For x minus y, equals 2 times 11, and x plus y, equals 4 times 23. 2 times 11, equals 22. 4 times 23, equals 92. Add the two equations, we have, 2x equals, 114. Subtract the first equation from the second equation, we have, 2y equals 70. So x equals, 57. y equals 35. For x minus y, equals 4 times 11, and x plus y, equals 2 times 23. 
4 times 11, equals 44. 2 times 23, equals 46. Add the two equations, we have, 2x equals 90. Subtract the first equation from the second equation, we have, 2y equals 2. So x equals 45. y equals 1. Case 3, z is equal to 0. Then the equation becomes, x squared minus y squared, equals 1 plus 2022. Which is 2023. x squared minus y squared, is equal to, x minus y, times, x plus y. 2023 can be written as, 7 times 17 squared. x minus y, and x plus y, must be the factors of 2023. So there are three possibilities. Either x minus y, equals 1, and x plus y, equals 2023. Or x minus y, equals 7, and x plus y, equals 17 squared. Or x minus y, equals 17, and x plus y, equals 7 times 17. For x minus y, equals 1, and x plus y, equals 2023. Add the two equations, we have, 2x equals, 2024. Subtract the first equation from the second equation, we have, 2y equals, 2022. So x equals, 1012. Y equals, 1011. 4x minus y, equals 7, and x plus y, equals 17 squared. 17 squared, equals 289. Add the two equations, we have, 2x equals 296. Subtract the first equation from the second equation, we have, 2y equals 282. So x equals 148 y equals 141. 4x minus y, equals 17, and x plus y, equals 7 times 17. 7 times 17, equals 119. Add the two equations, we have, 2x equals 136. Subtract the first equation from the second equation, we have, 2y equals 102. So x equals 68 y equals 51. In summary, there are seven solutions. x, y, z, equal 1012, 1011, 0. 148, 141, 0. 68, 51, 0. 507, 505, 1. 255, 251, 1. 57, 35, 1. 45, 1, 1.